Is it possible that by unknowingly violating fundamental spiritual laws, you are attracting negative experiences? The concept of karma can sometimes be misunderstood. In Sanskrit, karma literally means action. It's a profound principle of cause and effect, which implies that every thought, intention, and action we undertake influences our future experiences. While many people, especially in the West, tend to view karma through a lens of good and bad outcomes, its true essence goes much deeper. Karma is not just about rewards and punishments. It's a way of life that leads us toward our higher purpose and spiritual enlightenment. Ancient texts like the Bhagavad Gita, Buddhist sutras, and Jaina Gamas provide profound insights into karma. These scriptures emphasize living a virtuous life, emphasizing that good actions lead to positive outcomes. Over centuries, these teachings have influenced countless leaders, philosophers, and ordinary people, guiding them towards righteous living. One of the most foundational principles of karma is the great law, often referred to as the law of cause and effect. This law teaches us that whatever energy we project into the universe, whether positive or negative, will eventually return to us. Think of it as the cosmic version of Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This idea is succinctly captured in the adage, what you sow, you shall reap. If you emit love, kindness and positivity, you will likely receive the same in return, thereby inviting pleasant and harmonious experiences into your life. Conversely, if your actions are driven by negativity, selfishness or harm, you will undoubtedly face adverse effects. This principle underscores the importance of being mindful of our thoughts, words and deeds. To reap the benefits you desire, you must embody those qualities yourself. If you seek love, start by cultivating love within. Mahatma Gandhi believed deeply in the principle of non-violence, ahimsa, and truth, satya. He consistently acted with love and compassion, even toward his adversaries. His philosophy was that just means would lead to just ends. Indeed, his principled actions led to the peaceful liberation of India from British rule. The second law, the law of creation, emphasizes that life does not happen by chance. It requires our active participation. To manifest your desires and dreams, you must take deliberate actions rather than waiting for fate to intervene. You are a co-creator of your reality alongside the universe. According to karma, your intentions and actions shape the outcomes of your life. Consider asking yourself what aspects of your life need to be released or transformed to make room for new possibilities. Use your unique talents and strengths to create outcomes that benefit not only yourself, but also others. This proactive engagement with life's challenges and opportunities is the essence of the law of creation. If you dream of achieving professional success, don't wait for opportunities to come knocking. Instead, take concrete steps, such as furthering your education, networking, and honing your skills. By taking action, you set the stage for your aspirations to materialize. The third law, the law of humility, is based on the principle of acceptance. To truly grow and evolve, you must be humble enough to acknowledge that your current life situation is a product of your past actions. This may be a hard pill to swallow, especially when things aren't going as planned. However, recognizing that you have contributed to your present circumstances empowers you to change them. If you are blaming others for your failures or shortcomings, the law of humility urges you to look inward and take responsibility for your actions this acceptance is the first step toward making meaningful changes and correcting your course. Nelson Mandela, the first president of South Africa, exhibited remarkable humility and forgiveness, particularly evident 
when he chose to forgive his oppressors and promote reconciliation instead of retribution after his release from prison. Growth starts within us, which leads us to the law of growth. This law highlights that real change and personal development begin with what we have control over, ourselves. To positively shape the world, we must first focus on our own growth and betterment. The law of growth encourages introspection and self-improvement, setting the foundation for broader positive changes. The law of growth and the philosophical teachings of Stoicism share striking similarities, both emphasizing personal development through internal change and resilient attitudes. While the law of growth emphasizes that change starts from within, Stoicism teaches that peace and resilience come from focusing on what is within our control, particularly our own thoughts and actions. Parallel to this is the law of responsibility, which states that we must take ownership of what happens in our lives. Embracing this law means recognizing that the outcomes we experience are directly linked to the choices we make. This principle eliminates the habit of looking outward for reasons behind our problems. Instead, it empowers us with the understanding that we are the architects of our destiny. So how can you use these laws to improve your life and get to the next level on your spiritual journey? In the context of karma, setting boundaries is imperative to ensure you are not taking on the negative karma of others or allowing their actions to drain your energy. Personal boundaries are essential for maintaining a balanced and fulfilling spiritual life. They act as filters that allow us to interact deeply and empathetically with the world while protecting our own energy and well-being. Boundaries help us define our responsibilities and preserve our energy. They prevent us from being overwhelmed by issues that are not ours to solve and ensure that we focus on our own spiritual paths. Without clear boundaries, we risk unnecessary stress and imbalance, which can hinder our personal growth. For instance, imagine constantly helping a friend with their issues to the detriment of your own needs. This not only drains your energy, but also disrupts your spiritual journey, diverting your focus from personal development. Recognizing the importance of personal boundaries allows you to offer support without becoming entangled in problems that are not yours to bear. Personal energy is the life force that drives our actions, thoughts, and emotions. It's crucial to safeguard this energy to ensure we can function optimally and pursue our spiritual goals. Setting and maintaining boundaries is a key strategy in protecting this energy. One of the most effective ways to safeguard your energy is by learning to say no when necessary. It can be challenging to refuse requests or demands from others, especially when you have a strong desire to help. However, constantly putting others' needs before your own can lead to burnout and resentment. Saying no allows you to prioritize self-care and personal development. It ensures that your energy is preserved for what truly matters, including nurturing your own well-being. This doesn't mean becoming selfish. Rather, it's about giving and receiving in sustainable and balanced ways. Surround yourself with positive influences that uplift and support your spiritual journey. These strategies are vital in maintaining a healthy balance between helping others and preserving your own energy. Furthermore, cultivating good karma is a powerful tool. Good karma involves practicing mindful living and making conscious choices that contribute positively to your life and the lives of others. Understanding that your actions, thoughts, and words have consequences allows you to deliberately generate positive karma. Mindful living is the foundation of cultivating good karma. This means being fully aware of your actions and their impacts on both yourself and others. By living mindfully, you can make choices that align with your values and promote kindness, compassion, 
and respect. This approach encourages you to be present in the moment, think before you act, and consider the long-term effects of your behavior. Practical acts of kindness are powerful for generating positive karma. Simple gestures like helping a neighbor, donating to charity, or offering a kind word can have significant impacts. These actions don't need to be grand or elaborate. Even small acts of kindness can contribute to positive karma. The key is to perform these actions with genuine intent, without expecting anything in return. Holding the door open for someone, volunteering at a local shelter, or helping a friend in need, these small yet meaningful acts create ripples of positivity that extend far beyond the immediate moment. They not only improve the receiver's day, but also enhance your own spiritual well-being. Volunteering is another powerful way to generate good karma. By giving your time and effort to help others, you contribute to the well-being of your community. Volunteering not only benefits those in need, but also enriches your own life, providing a sense of purpose and fulfillment. It connects you to others and reminds you of the importance of compassion and empathy. While cultivating good karma is essential, it's equally important to address and transform negative karma. This involves recognizing past actions and consciously making positive changes to counterbalance their effects. Negative karma results from harmful actions or thoughts, but it can be mitigated through deliberate positive actions and intentions. The first step in transforming negative karma is self-awareness. Acknowledging past mistakes and understanding their consequences is crucial. This involves honest self-reflection and a willingness to take responsibility for your actions. By recognizing the negative karma you have generated, you open the door to making amends and creating positive change. Deliberate positive actions are powerful tools for transforming negative karma. Acts of kindness, generosity, and compassion can counterbalance the effects of previous harmful actions. These actions should be carried out with genuine intent, focusing on the well-being of others rather than expecting immediate rewards. Positive intentions are equally important in transforming negative karma. Your thoughts and attitudes shape your karma just as much as your actions. Cultivating a positive mindset involves letting go of anger, resentment, and negative thoughts. Instead, focus on love, compassion, and understanding. Meditation and mindfulness practices can help develop a positive mental state, which in turn influences your actions and karma. Now, let's broaden our perspective and consider how karma influences not just our own lives, but the collective experience of humanity. Do you ever wonder how your actions might ripple out and affect others? Karma emphasizes that our actions have far-reaching consequences, extending well beyond the immediate moment. Each action you take creates an effect that touches the lives of those around you. Acts of kindness and generosity can inspire others to behave similarly, fostering a community of positivity and support. For example, if you start a community cleanup initiative, your actions may inspire others to join and take similar actions in their neighborhoods. This chain reaction not only beautifies the environment, but also fosters a sense of community and shared responsibility. Have you ever helped someone only to see them help another in return? This chain reaction of good deeds significantly improves the collective well-being of our community. Conversely, negative actions like harsh words or deceit can sow discord and mistrust, creating a negative atmosphere that affects relationships and long-term harmony. Imagine a world where everyone understood and practice the principles of karma. What kind of impact would that have on our collective experience? Your actions 
guided by the understanding of karma, can contribute to this vision. By living mindfully and acting with compassion and kindness, you not only transform your life, but also contribute to a more harmonious and balanced world. Take a moment to reflect. What legacy do you want to leave behind? How can your actions today lay the foundation for a better tomorrow? Each of us has the power to influence the broader universe, creating ripples of positivity that extend far beyond our immediate lives. These principles are more than philosophical ideas. They are practical guidelines for living a purposeful and compassionate life. Embrace the laws of karma, reflecting on how you can integrate them into your daily actions and thoughts. So, what steps will you take today to cultivate positive karma in your life and the lives of others? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.